thousand years will the pyramids of Egypt reveal their secrets. Will this robot probe explain why the pharaohs created these wonders of the world? Built by the pharaohs, the kings who ruled Egypt nearly 5,000 years ago. The most important characteristic for the pharaoh is immortality. A less earthbound solution to the riddle of the pyramid shape comes from a Belgian engineer. The blueprint fell from the sky, according to Robert Boval. We know that they venerated a very, very sacred relic just before they started building pyramids, which was said to have cosmic origins and was of conical shape. Now, the likelihood is that this was an oriented iron meteorite. An oriented iron meteorite is a meteorite that enters through the atmosphere without turning, and therefore its front part burns off and has this unusual shape of a cone or the, the sacred meter was so sacred that it probably gave the shape to the pyramid. So the pyramid in sorts is a symbol of this original relic. After the pyramids were built, this sacred relic, the sacred meteorite disappeared. We really don't know where it went. And one of the likely places is that it might have been concealed within the pyramid. Dave's. Slaves or not, how did the workers actually construct such vast? You would have to be putting a block in place every two minutes. The ramp theories won't get those blocks in place. You just can't get enough blocks along one ramp or even four ramps to get the pyramid built in Ponders that time. the greatest question of all. This is where the ancient Egyptians left their Book of the Dead. It explains the pharaoh's philosophy. Although this pyramid may have seemed insignificant from the outside, inside here it's absolutely fantastic. Here is the key to understand the mystery of the pyramids, because they tell us of the mysterious star religion of the pharaohs. If you want to understand a cathedral, you of course read the Bible. So if you want to understand the pyramids, you must read these, the pyramid text, the oldest religious writing in the world. And they repeatedly tell us how the king becomes a star to join his father Osiris in the sky. And Osiris is the constellation of Orion. So here, for example, we are told that the pharaoh is a dweller in the constellation of Orion. And in this passage here, we are told that the pharaoh is taken in the constellation of Orion. And repeatedly, over and over again, we are told that the king becomes a star. The king becomes a star and joins his father Osiris in the sky, in the special region of the sky where the constellation of Osiris is. This interpretation of the Book of the Dead says the pyramids are places of the night. In the pharaoh's burial chamber in the Great Pyramid, Baval finds confirmation. Tiny details point to the pyramid's purpose. The most mysterious structures are these shafts. In each chamber are two shafts, one in the north wall and one in the south wall. Now, although you see just a small opening, these shafts are extremely difficult to build. They're built within the core of the masonry at an incline. Now, this to an engineer, it's a nightmare because you have to not only cut each block and dress it properly, but the whole surrounding structure must be adapted. Each course of the masonry must be kept perfectly uh, dressed so to fit the, 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 the profile of the shaft. Originally, it was thought that these shafts were air shafts because when the shafts in the king's chamber were opened, they let air in. If they just wanted ventilation, it would have been much easier to have them horizontal Whereas clearly, the architect went to a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble to build them. They must have a very, very important Train purpose. The shafts. German inventor Rudolf Gantenbrink calls it Upuaut, ancient Egyptian for opener of the ways. The robot was designed to be able to change its shape. It would need maximum contact with the shaft sides to propel itself over the unexplored terrain. 
there are four shafts inside the Great Pyramid, two upper shafts and two lower shafts. Everybody told me the lower shafts they will just go on for maybe two meters or eight meters and then they will stop. And, and I did never believe this. I said, we have the technology to find this out. So uh, uh, let's do it. Let's uh, make a robot. Let's go inside there and then we know better. From Gantenbrink's headquarters in the Great Pyramid, the robot set off into the unknown. It sent back pictures of its voyage. The first part of the shaft is horizontally for two meters, and then it goes up. So uh, just by looking with your eyes, you don't see what is coming there. We could see for the first time uh, images that have not been seen for 4,000 years. And this was the most exciting part. Upuaut explored all four shafts in the Great Pyramid. From the data, Robert Boval calculated the shafts would have pointed at particular constellations. He found that one of them was directly aligned with Orion's belt and could have launched the Pharaoh's soul towards the stars. Boval goes even further. He believes the pyramid's grand design pays homage to the heavens. For years now, I've been trying to understand the strange layout of the three great pyramids of Giza. Now, the first two larger pyramids were in perfect alignment. And yet what was strange is that the third pyramid was not only much smaller, but was offset from this line. Now with all this precision, all this planning precision, why was that? I was totally baffled and yet I was sure it had something to do with the stars. Finally on a night out in the desert, I was sitting with a friend, a yachtsman, and he was trying to explain to me how to find the rising point of the brightest star in the sky, the dog star Sirius. And he pointed at the three stars in the belt of Orion. And he said, if you follow the line all the way down to the horizon, you will get the rising point of the star Sirius. And then, as if in an afterthought, he said, actually, if you look carefully, the three stars of Orion's belt are not quite in a row. The top star is much dimmer and is offset. And suddenly I realized that this was the answer I was looking for to explain the mysterious layout of the three pyramids of Giza. The whole thing fitted perfectly together. The Great Pyramid had the shaft as a launching pad for the soul of the dead king to Orion's belt. The three pyramids were a perfect representation of the three stars in Orion's belt. The Egyptians had made the cosmic link between heaven and earth. 